welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by so in today's video I'm going to share with you this makeup look right here and I have created this look using all wet and wild products a couple of days ago I posted a picture on my Instagram account and I shared with you that I got so many new products from wet and wild and some of them are relatively new and yeah i have created this look using all these new product this is also going to be a first impression so if you want to know how i created this look then please keep on watching before starting please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and please help my channel to grow even more so yeah without further blabbering let's get started so I'm going to start with my brows first for that I have here uh, their brand new uh, eyebrow pomade and this is in the shade Expresso and as you guys can see I have not even opened it so let me just quickly open it. So this is how it looks like and I must say packaging is really really cute and it has an applicator but it's not really an angled applicator and I prefer an angled brush for my brows. I don't know if I am gonna love this or not. You can see the applicator is not angled at all. So this is kind of disappointing. So yeah, let's see. This is how it looks like. I think the color is gonna match me perfectly. So let's try to use this brush. If it does not work, then I will use my regular brush. Mm. Okay, I don't like the brush. I think I'm gonna use my regular brush. So yeah, it's a bit harsh. You know the pomades when you first use them, they are a bit harsh. But the color is a really nice match for my brows because I have really dark hair. And as far as I quite like the formula, it has a very nice waxy kind of a consistency which I love. So brows are on and I think I quite like my brows and uh, so far I'm liking this pomade minus the brush. Okay, I'm not mad at it actually, I quite like it. Mm -hmm. Quickly clean up the borders of my brows using this wet and wild photo focus concealer. I do not have a new concealer and I do not think they have a separate concealer. I think this is the only concealer that they have. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clear my brows off camera, then I'll be back. I also applied the same concealer on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadows. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the concealer using this brand new Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Powder. And this is in the shade Banana. So let's open it. Okay, this is how it looks like. And it has a plastic shield going on so just let me open it quickly okay the powder is uh, so soft and it is a light yellowish kind of color and just let's just set my eyes and let's see if i like it or not by the way the uh, sponge that i'm using is from l'oreal they also have a new sponge which is again um pink in color i wanted to grab that sponge as well but it was out of stock everywhere so just i could not grab it but i promise you next time i spot it i'm gonna grab it so yeah let's see what the powder does for me I have two eyeshadow palettes uh, with me. Uh, one is this one called P.I. Purple. I think this is um, a newest 
edition in their Kalaikan line. This one, I think this uh, has been in the market for the past six or seven months, but I have never seen this one at Walmart or Walgreens before. But this time when I went to my nearest Walgreens, I just spotted this one and I, I just grabbed it. And the colors are really, really amazing. So let me quickly give you a swatch of all these shades. So here is a closer view of the palette. Stunning it is. So this is how the uh, shades are looking. I must say this gold is everything. And the shimmer shadows swatched really well and they were like wet. Yes, I, when I touched them, they were like wet, which is really surprising and I am super duper impressed with the quality. They are so good. And then I have here Bed of Roses from their uh, Rebel Rose collection. This is a limited edition palette and there were like three or four shades, I believe. But this one just caught my attention and these colors are like my type of color so I just grabbed it. So let me give you a quick swatch of these four shades as well. And this is a closer view of the palette. So here are the swatches. These two are um, top two shades. These are shimmery. This color is really really pretty. Look at this. It's a beautiful pinky shimmery kind of a color and this is such a pretty shade. And these two are matte shade. These two are from the bottom row. So, Okay, first I'm taking this uh, shade, this uh, cream color from the palette and I'm going to dust it all over on my eyelids. So yeah, let's do it. I'm taking this transition shade uh, from the palette and I'm going to apply it as my transition shade. Okay, that is quite pigmented and it's blending beautifully. As you guys know, the formula of these eyeshadows are really good. These are my one of favorite eyeshadow palettes out there. These are so, so good. Okay, now I'm taking this shade. This is a rich burgundy kind of a shade and with this Wet n Wild, uh, which brush is it? A uh, crease brush. I'm going to apply it on my crease. Mm -hmm. wow. It's blending beautifully, trust me guys. It's blending really beautifully. And it's pigmented. And the brush, it's so good. I'm liking it so far. So everything is blending quite nicely so far. I'm just blending everything out using a clean blending brush. And I'm taking this gorgeous shimmery rose gold kind of a color. It's stunning, look at this. The moment I got this one, I knew that I am gonna use this shade right here. It's so pretty. So this is again a Wet n Wild brush. This is their flat eyeshadow brush. And yeah, let's just apply it all over on my eyelids. You know what, I think I'm gonna wet my brush a bit because this kind of shimmer shadows work really well when you wet your brush oh, I cannot even open it 
Mm -hmm. yes. Wow, the mist, it really smells like roses, I'm not even kidding. It really smells like fresh roses. Okay, okay. It's applying well with a wet brush. Let's just try my finger to apply this on my other eye and let's see what happens. Ooh. Ooh, it's really applying smoothly with my finger mm -hmm. okay it's kind of messy i have to blend it out quickly mm -hmm. it's looking good so far i think i'm gonna take this shimmery can be the kind of a color next and I'm just going to apply it over here wow that is pretty it's sort of creating a gradation from this matte burgundy to my lid color mm -hmm. It's looking so pretty and the color payoff of this shade is outstanding as you guys can see. I'm taking this shimmery gold color. This looks quite good and I'm going to apply it on my inner corners. Let's see what happens. I hope you guys can see. Wow, that's pretty. That's really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. That's actually looking good. Yes, girl. She's pretty. This outer beauty is looking a bit harsh. So I'm taking this shade right here. And with this e.l.f. brush, I'm just going to blend out the edges like this. Let's just blend it a bit on my crease. So I'm just blending the same color. I have not taken any extra product. I'm using whatever is left on my brush and I'm just slightly applying it on my crease. So okay, let me zoom you in a bit so that you can see the eye makeup clearly. So, so this is how it's looking so far and I am quite happy with the eye look, especially that gold in my uh inner corners it's looking so pretty yeah i'm quite liking it now i'm going to finish my face for that first i'm just Whew. it's so refreshing the smell in this is really good and you guys probably know that i love their cucumber uh, setting spray and I think I'm gonna love this one as well so this is going to be my first primer because uh, it says it's 3-in-1 primer water prep plus set plus refresh so it's going to be my first primer then I will go with another primer and this is again uh, a new launch by Wet n Wild this is water drop primer 
right here and this is again the rose version so try and my skin is feeling so I would say tacky and yeah it's so refreshing now let's go ahead and try and the primer so as you guys can see I have not even opened it so I'm just opening it mm -hmm. so this is how the primer looks like and it has a peachy kind of a hue in it it's not straight white it's kind of a peachy white primer and wow it it feels like water literally it what okay it actually feels like water i mean when i'm doing this as you can see it's changing color and it just quickly became like water so let's apply it so i'm pleasantly surprised with the primer it's like coconut oil you know when coconut oil is solid and you try to melt it and it becomes transparent it's kind of like this and let's see the claims because the primer needs some time to settle down okay it says apply to clean skin use alone or under foundation okay revolutionary cream to water formula which is absolutely correct hydrates and locks down the moisture blurs the appearance of pores okay so it's pretty hydrating i must say talking about pores though i do not have much like large pores I do not have pores. I have some teeny mini bit of pores right here. It's quite unnoticeable. So if I look closely, I can say that it's kind of blurred out this region over here. And it feels so tacky. And my skin is feeling so hydrated, I must say. So far, so good. I'm liking this primer. Can you guys see the glow? It just instantly made my skin glowy. It's like a glow from within. So I, I won't say that it's a mattifying primer. It's not at all a mattifying primer. I can definitely say. Mm -hmm. now let's try the stick foundation this is again their brand new product and it's been in the market for like two months or three months i have not tried this product yet let me open it first by the way i'm in the shade classic beige and this is how the foundation looks like you get like 12 gram of product in it and i hope it matches me because as you guys can see i have not even tried it yet so let's just try it oh okay i think that it's gonna be a good match mm -hmm. I'm really nervous to try this foundation you guys I mean after trying the Rimmel Stay Matte I'm really nervous if you haven't watched that full review video of the brand new Rimmel London Stay Matte foundation and concealer click on the card over there to reach that video this video is going to be really helpful for you okay now let's try to buff it in and i'm using my real techniques buffing brush okay. well it's blending beautifully and i think it's a good match for my skin 
but uh, this is quite medium coverage foundation this is not at all a full coverage foundation because I can totally see my acne scars peering through in this area let's try to layer it up a bit and see what happens the shade is really good for my skin tone it's matching me perfectly it's blending beautifully and I like the fact that it's, it is not drying at all because I do not like stay drying foundation so far so good I'm quite liking the foundation okay let's try to apply it and blend it with a beauty blender on this side I'm going to use my sponge you should always use a brush while blending a stick foundation but I just want to see what happens if I try to use my sponge oh which side I like the most I think I like the brush side more than the sponge side yes I like the brush side more okay I must say I like the foundation a lot you can see the glow it's like a glow from a within kind of a thing and I love when a foundation gives me that kind of a glow because I am a dry skin type and I need glow and the foundation is really really hydrating it's not at all dry and the shade is a perfect match for my skin tone I mean my neck especially these sides are a bit darker than my face because of some health issues but my face matches my chest perfectly and I'm quite liking the shade it's a perfect shade match for me so guys this is a closer look and this is how my face is looking after applying the foundation can you see I'm quite impressed with the foundation I mean can you see the glow it's just made my skin like air brushed and my face is looking so damn good so for highlighting and for concealing I'm using the same concealer you guys probably know that it's my one of favorite concealer and this gives medium coverage but the coverage is really buildable you can totally make it a full coverage concealer I think I'm running out of it I have to repurchase one because I think I'm running out of this concealer because it's my favorite and I use it all time Okay, I have applied the concealer on the usual places. I normally like to highlight and conceal. I'm just blending everything out using the same L'Oreal sponge. Okay, uh, my concealer is blending beautifully on top of this foundation. And you know, sometimes it happens. Uh, just one product does not blend well on top of another product, but I must say my concealer is blending beautifully see it's all blended okay now I'm going to set my under eyes using the banana powder before it starts to crease okay so at first I thought that the shade is a perfect match but I think it's not a brightening powder for my under eyes because it, it just made my under eyes look a bit darker as you guys can see. I think I should have picked up the shade translucent. So probably I will use it to set my entire face but 
to set my and eyes I need something brightening and this is not at all a brightening powder you guys can see how dark my under eyes are looking right now okay you can still make it work I think it's quite nice for my entire face yes for my entire face I'm quite liking it but for my under eyes no no I do not like the shade at all my under eyes are looking horrible so I'm going to take this banana shade from uh, the contour palette this is in the shade caramel toffee and I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes just to bring back some lights much better okay and I'm just contouring my face I do not have any new contour oops it's looking quite harsh Mm -hmm. So I do not have any new bronzer from Wet n Wild because you know what I I was checking out the shades but I did not like the shade much so I did not pick up any contour shade from them so I'm just using whatever I have and this contour palette is bomb degree. If you are planning to grab some new contour powder, this is affordable and this is really really good. Especially the ban banana, the banana shade in this palette. It's so good. I often use it to like brighten up my under eyes. The banana shade is so super good. For my blush, okay, I'm using this Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine and for that I'm using the Stippling Blush. Again, it is a new brush which I got recently and let's just apply this on my cheeks. This blush is my all-time favorite blush. The color is just perfect for my skin tone. For my highlighter, again I'm using this Wet n Wild highlighter in Pacers Petals. You guys probably know that this is my all-time favorite highlighter from the drugstore. This is such a good highlighter. I love this. Can you guys see the glow? Wow, it's stunning. They have some new highlighters as well. I wanted to grab the golden one. I do not know the shade. But again, it was not available at Walgreens or at Walmart. So I just could not pick that up. But I really wanted to grab some new highlighters from Wet n Wild because I love this highlighting formula. It's so good. I will definitely pick up some more shades. Especially the gold one, I don't know what it is called but it was so good the other day often i was watching a video of juicy jazz and she was using uh, that gold color and it was looking so good you guys i'm just highlighting my brow bones as well as my inner corners let's just finish eye makeup uh, for that first I'm using this mega last retractable eyeliner in black I want to keep it really simple though this eyeliner it's not my favorite I do not like the pigmentation of this eyeliner this is not enough pigmented according to me and it also does not really stay on my waterline. I'm just taking this burgundy shade and I'm going to smudge it on my lower lash line. I 
I hope you guys can see it. This eye makeup needs a nice ring. I'm using this mega liner. Yes, mega liner in black, and I'm going to create a nice ring. This is again my favorite eyeliner. Just coating my top and bottom lashes with this mega length mascara. Again, I do not have any new mascara from Wet n Wild. I love this eyeliner, eyeliner, <laughs> this mascara for my lower lashes particularly. And one more thing, if you are using this particular mascara, just let it dry for two to three minutes before applying any setting spray. Otherwise it will melt and it will end up having our raccoon eyes and you do not want that, right? So lashes are on can you please take a moment to appreciate those lashes these are so beautiful look how wispy they are they're just gorgeous lashes and this is for the first time i'm wearing these lashes and these are looking freaking gorgeous what do you guys think i'm loving it wow just set our entire makeup Oof. Love the smell. For my lips, I'm again going to use a new launch by Wet n Wild. This is their Perfect Pout Lipstick in the shade Bear, Bear Your Soul. Now, there were like uh, seven or eight shades, I believe, and there are some bright pink, bright red, bright vampy kind of a shade. I picked up this one because this just attracted me. The shade is so gorgeous and okay the packaging looks kind of like this. It has a matte black plastic packaging and a clear cap. So yeah and this is how it looks like and let me give you a quick swatch right here so yeah uh, i just did not pick up the other shades because i felt like some of the shades are for lighter skin tone like people who are lighter than me and some shades were like Either I do not need those kind of a shades or I just don't know. The shades did not really attract me. But this one right here. Oh, yeah. Look at the shade. It's gorgeous. Wow. This is a very nice, like, terracotta brown kind of a shade. And I do not think I have this kind of a shade in my collection so this shade is super duper pretty so let's just apply it Ooh. Uh -huh. it's looking quite good okay the formula is really creamy and I love uh, the bullet. It's not as big as they are mega last lipsticks. And it's not super duper matte. It's quite satin matte. Yeah, and it just glided on my lips so smoothly. It's matte, but it's a comfortable matte. It's not super duper drying, which I actually love. And this is a perfect nude shade for my skin tone. I actually like the shade. Yeah, the shade is really pretty. I think I need something extra for this eye look. This lipstick is not really going with the eye look. And for that I decided to top it off with this high shine liquid lipstick in the shade Devil's Advocate. I featured it in my last haul video and I have not tried it yet 
So let's see. Mm, yeah, it's looking kind of better. Now I think my lip color is matching my eye look. So here is the final look. I pretty much liked everything that I tried today. The banana powder is really good but I do not think it is a perfect match for my under eyes. Probably I will use it to set my entire makeup but not my under eyes. Except that the powder is actually really good. I'm trying to pick up the shade translucent next. So yeah that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar below. So please do check that out. So yeah, see you soon in my next video. Till then, bye and take care.